Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a bit of a get ready with me tutorial type thing, shooting this grungy fall dark smoky kind of red look. I don't even know how I'm going to name this. But um, if you do want to see me film this, um, talk through the products that I use and the techniques that I use to come up with this look, then um, please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows and laid down the base for my eyes. So I'm just going to get straight into this eye look. I'm going to be using the Morphe 25B palette. Um, so I haven't used this one in a while. Um, it's got a lot of deep, dark, purpley, full shades in there that um, I was really excited about when I saw. So I thought it would be a really good opportunity for me to dip this one out of the archives and get some new sound of it. I'm just putting on some tape because I want it to be really precise today. So I'm just going to take my Sigma E40 and I'm just going to lay down a transition shade. So none of these actually have like shade, none of these have shade names. So I'm just going to be putting a picture in each time I change shades so you can see exactly what ones I'm using. So next I'm going to take a smaller fluffy blending brush um, to go into my crease with this deep brown shade here. So I'm just slowly building it up. I don't want to get too dark too quickly. Um, I really want to take some, have some kind of gradient in this. So I'm just taking that into my crease and slowly building it up. I'm just taking a little bit of the shadow at a time just because I don't want to add too much and not be able to blend it out. So next I'm going to take another small blending brush and just grab this deep purple shade in the palette and I'm just going to pop that a little bit at a time and just pop that right in the outer corner. I'm just going to take an even smaller one just because I want to add this kind of into the crease. Right here. I just want to pack it in the outer corner. So I'm just packing that into the outer corner and just dabbing it so I can blend it away whilst not losing the depth of it. So I'm just going to take a more of a flat, dense packing brush, something like that. And I'm going to be taking a, this warmer colour here and putting that on the lid. And so I've taken that chocolate brown colour and i put it all over my lid but just so I can um, make that more of a seamless blend because you can see more of a line. I'm just going to take a little bit more of this colour here that I used to deepen up my crease originally with that same small 
blending brush that I use with it. Okay, so then lastly, I want to take more of like a black shade and just blend that into the outer V a little bit. So I'm just taking the darker shade in this palette, which is, I wouldn't say it's a black black, I'd say it's more of like a grey black, but it'll be fine. I'm just putting this in my outer V, as you can see, just kind of dabbing it along. all done what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pop on my lashes and then I'll be back um, with you when the tape is all off to do the rest of my face okay so I've gone ahead and put on my lashes and I've also put on a little bit of eyeliner just on my waterline just to darken up the look even more I'm using the NYX retractable eyeliner so it's literally just in the shade black I think and it's the waterproof one so that is a, actually a really good eyeliner, really inexpensive, super pigmented and I find it really stays on through the day. They're hard to find so I totally recommend picking this one up if you are on something like that. And for mascara I use the Essence Volume Stylus which is my go to recently and just the normal Ardell lashes because I'm not spending $40 on a pair of lashes that I'm only going to get a few uses out of. Just so you know. To start off with for primer, I'm going in with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I have been absolutely obsessed with this lately. Um, I got it only a week ago, but it is everything. I did like a little Instagram story giving my first impressions of it. Um, and it was incredible. Like it's unlike anything I have ever tried before like it leaves my skin feeling not too tacky not greasy however it is a little bit oily but like in a good way for me so if you do have um, like oily skin it might be a little bit much for you but just for me it is absolutely perfect and leaves me super hydrated um, especially when it is like humid and stuff outside it just helps my foundation down all day. Um, so for foundation, I'm using I haven't used in a while. It is the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick. I think that's what it's called. Um, in the shade Alabaster. So I haven't used this in ages. But I wanted to use it again. And I'm going for a super snatched look today. So I want to be super full coverage and I'm actually going to use this with my beauty blender for the first time I've always used a brush but I just want to see how a beauty blender goes with it because I, most people say that you should only use a brush for this but I'm just going to see how it goes it is super thick and it does take a little bit more to blend out than like a normal cream foundation obviously because it's a stick foundation um, but I adore it yeah, I am definitely finding that I am losing coverage with this. Like usually with how much I swipe down if I'm using a brush, it's a lot better. But I'm finding because I really do have to be a little bit aggressive with blending this out because it is so thick, it's also losing coverage. So I think I might switch back over to a brush to be honest. I'm going to switch over to what I usually use for this foundation, which is the Morphe M439. It's super, super densely packed. If you do want a good dupe for the Hourglass one that they suggest, I totally recommend giving this one a go because it blends it out really nicely. It actually blends out most foundations really nicely. And I use this a lot of the time for any stick contours that I use. Because um, I just find it blends it out really seamlessly. Like, look at that. That was so quick, so much quicker than the Beauty Blender. I look ghostly right now. It is a little bit sunnier outside at the moment, a little bit more warmer, so I find it I'm a little bit tanned. 
So this is slightly light for me right now, but I'm gonna make it work. Just gonna do a little bit more to make up for that loss in coverage. So I'm just going to take concealer now. So for that, I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer that I've been using heaps lately in Fair Neutral 10. And I'm just gonna go section this off because it does dry extremely fast. And I don't want any gross creasing or anything like that. Set underneath the eyes and the areas I'm putting powder on today, I'm just using the Hourglass um, Ethereal Light Powder. So I'm going with the Hourglass theme today. So I'm just going to do a little bit more concealing today. Just on my nose and my forehead. I usually don't really do this that much. Um, especially at work and stuff, I could not be bothered having that much product on my face. But I am going for a super full coverage look today. And for those areas, I'm just going to dab my beauty blender in this just to set it down other than a brush. Just because I find when you use a beauty blender with setting powder, it really presses into the face rather than having the powder look powdery, I guess. Okay, so for um, contour today, I'm using the Fenty Match 6 in Amber. So I don't use that this too much um, because it does take a little bit more effort than my normal powder contour. But as I said, I am going for a super snatch look today. So I'm just gonna put in the effort. To blend that out, I'm just using the same brush I used to blend out, or yeah, the same brush I used to blend out the foundation, so the Morphe M439. And I'm just going to slowly, I don't even know how to, how to name that, but just dabbing it. I'm not like doing stripes or I'm not pulling on my skin, I'm literally just kind of buffing it out. Just because you do, obviously don't want to lose the contour in it. And I find that this contour stick, that it does really, how do I call it, it can easily blend out to nothing. So you just need to be careful. But I find I get much better results with this when I use a brush. Just because a beauty blender will obviously suck it up way more. Okay, so my cheeks are all blended out. So I'm just going to go down here a little bit. Just so I can have... A jawline which does not exist most days just do the same thing just kind of dab it in rather than blending it out and then just my forehead I'm gonna do some lines like that and I'm literally just like stamping it in I'm not even like really moving the product, I'm just stamping it in. Okay, so for bronzing today, I'm going to use something I don't use very often. It is the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. So I actually really like the bronzer in here. I don't use it often enough. I wish it was bigger, and I think that's maybe why it deters me from using it, just because it's such a small pan. I wish, honestly, wish the the blush and the bronzer with the big ones and the highlights with the small ones just because you're going to get a lot more use and you're going to dig way deeper into blush and highlight sorry blush and bronzers rather than highlights highlights you'll get a lot less use out of so I, I didn't really understand why they chose the sizes the way they did but anyway <laughs> so I'm just going to take my Colourpop it doesn't have a name, this Colourpop angled bronzer contour brush type thing. And just take that in and just kind of go over that. And just kind of bring it up around the face. The thing I really like about this bronzer is it does blend out really easily. And it looks really natural. Okay, so now I'm super, super snatched. I'm gonna go in and do something that I've only just started doing actually, which is baking my contour just so I can get a really sharp line. So for that, I'm just gonna use the hourglass one again and take my beauty blender just with like a bunch of product. I 
don't know if you can see it, but you see how that's just created a super sharp line. And then I'm just gonna leave it for like literally not long at all and then dust it off. So pretty much once I have put it all on, I'm just gonna dust it off just using this bronzer one and then that just brightens it up heaps and really defines the contour, which I have really been loving. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner because my contour has been looking so amazing lately. Okay, so I'm just going to put on a little bit of blush today. I don't want it to be too much. So I'm just taking this NYX Ombre Blonde... Um, I'm just taking this NYX Ombre Blush in Mauve Me. So I don't use this one that often, but it is actually really gorgeous. It is really different to anything else that I own. And just gives me a really subtle blush if you want and you can build it up if you want but it's just exactly what I was going for today. I'm just going to finish up my eyes just by going underneath. So back to this palette again I'm going to be taking just a another dense packing brush and I'm just going to be taking like one of the darkest browns I think like this one here. I don't want to do the black but I'm just going to take a dark brown and just coat the very tip of that and just take it as close to the waterline as possible on both sides. Just gonna take a small blending brush and grab something just to smoke it out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take this brown shade here. I don't want too much of that. I'm just kind of smoking out the outer corner and just keeping it in the first like third or so of the eye. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to set my face now and then I'll come back to do highlighter and my lip colour. So now that my face is all set, I'm going to be doing my highlighter and I'm actually going to be using something new. This week I purchased the Kylie, oh Kylie, the Kali Bible BH Cosmetics Deluxe Edition palette. This is something I've been wanting to try for ages, ages and ages. It's so, so gorgeous. I did dip into it a little bit yesterday, um, but not too much. So I'm just going to be using the highlighters. Obviously I've already done my eyes, so I'm not using the eyeshadows. So I'm just going to take my very dirty Zoeva uh, Deluxe Highlight in 105 and I'm just going to be taking, hmm, I really like that gold shade, I used that yesterday and it was really really pretty even on me who was really fair, but I think I'm going to be taking this peachy shade and mixed in with the white. I'm just going to, these remind me a lot of the Anastasia ones. Because at first they are a little bit glittery, but they really melt into the skin and give the most gorgeous highlight. And I haven't even wet my brush. Like, are you serious? And this whole palette was $35 Australian. Like, that's insane for how much product you're getting. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to do my lips. So for this, I had something really specific in my mind, and I think the lips is what inspired this look. So the lip color was really specific of what I wanted, and I found that in my whole lip color collection, I didn't have exactly what I wanted. So I've kind of mixed two liquid lipsticks together to create a concoction of what I wanted it to be. So I've mixed together the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K which is like a deep mauve brown. I'd say for people of darker skin, it wouldn't be that deep, but for me, it's probably one of the darkest lip colors I've got. Um, and oh, this is leaking everywhere. 
but um, also mix in with the Kat Von D Lolita 2. So I don't have Lolita 1, I know that's really hyped up and all that kind of stuff, but I don't even have it. So, But Lolita 2 is really gorgeous and it's actually the only Kat Von D lipstick I've got. Um, and I really like it, the formula is nice. It's a little bit drying, I find the Kylie ones are less drying, um, probably more comfortable and last better throughout the day, but they're pretty good. Okay, so I've mixed it together, ignore the foundation here, but I've mixed them together um, on this little plastic sheet here and gotten this brownie ready colour and it's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So, sorry if I don't talk, it's because I'm concentrating and I don't want this to get messed up. Okay, so this is my finished look. So I really, really liked how the lips turned out. It's exactly what I was going for. It's like a brick red. Um, and it's just so perfect with the eyes and the highlight and everything. I just love how it turned out. It's exactly the look I was going for. A really smoky, grungy, full look all of my friends in the other part of the world that are enjoying the cold weather at the moment and are not melting away in the sweltering heat like we are here in Australia. <laughs> but I hope you really enjoyed this video um, and enjoyed me giving you this tutorial. I know I wasn't very talkative today just because I was really focusing on the look and I had a very distinct idea in mind so I just really wanted to execute that really well for you guys. So that's why I was just really focused um, and pretty straight to the point when giving my tutorials and instructions today but overall I hope you got some kind of inspiration from this um, and you enjoyed watching me do this um, so thank you so much for watching if you want to see more videos like this give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye